Good evening. It's rare that we have to warn you right from the top of the newscast about what you're about to see, but the photo we're going to show you has quickly resonated across the world as a heartbreaking symbol of an utter human catastrophe Alors, on passe that we can't close out. Focus on. Avec cette question, comment peut-on encore parler de famine en 2012 Le Sud Soudan, le plus jeune pays du monde, a sombré dans une guerre civile et ethnique. Jim, <laughs> Pin pin de are a tone kamba e kwalla yoba. Today, all the organizations that work in the world to help development with the hope of making a difference are investing a lot. But all the results posted by official bodies show a real slowness in progress, despite the financial amounts that could make one think that everything is being done to succeed. How to change? What might be the necessary actions that we need to take right away to reverse the inexorable trend that predicts the worst? Are we all collectively deaf and so helpless to all the screams that are trying to send us from the planet? And the phenomenon is accelerating. It is no longer livable. We need to change direction. And faced with these observations, what are the proposals on which we are working? The world population is constantly increasing. Agriculture will have to produce more in the next 50 years than in the last 10,000 years. And given the ever-growing demographics, access to cultivable land has never been so difficult. And without forgetting with less energy, especially fossil, and less water. Over the past 200 years, agriculture has already succeeded in feeding a population that has multiplied by six. The planet has already put in great effort. It's time to sound the alarm. But what solutions, again and again? The emergence of practices such as intense crops show their limits. So the solution would be to have an even more investment for our farmers, even more pesticides, even less room for biodiversity, even more transport by trucks, boats on the world's food routes. Is it sustainable for a long time to come? Do you really believe it? In 2003, a person from the industrial world discovered the region of the Moses Plateau in Burkina Faso. The region is one of the most arid in the country and is directly confronted with the problems encountered by local populations. Famine, poverty, non-existent sanitization, diseases, largely insufficient education, conflicting social relations linked to power struggles. Supported by a collective of industrial players, they are obsessed with just one question. How to transpose the innovative methods deployed in industry to help these populations to develop quickly with a certain guarantee of success. Quickly because it is about people who are dying of hunger, who experience the disease as a double dip. You are sick, you are dying. Accompanied by the city of Belfort, which has already supported development in Africa for more than 30 years through other actions, they offer an alternative based on a clearly defined and strictly applied implementation organization, performance oriented management, a system based on the creation of value throughout the deployment of the master process, rigorous monitoring of the results obtained, accompanied by scientific studies at each stage of the transformation of the material, the objective is to enable the poorest populations, in particular initially in Kosanga, in less than three years, to solve the problems of famine, health, education, to live well together in a village, equality between men and women. Taking into consideration limiting factors such as arid soils, with some not cultivated for more than 20 years, the climate hazards with almost no rain, social conflicts, insecurity with pressure of armed groups and terrorists, the health situation, the reduction of agricultural soils to urban expansions. 
Today, after 10 years of deployment, we have strong results and successes in 100% of cases in more than 100 villages in Burkina Faso, which represents a very rapid positive impact on tens of thousands of people and tens of thousands of cultivated hectares on all types of crops. We have positively and radically influenced 11 SDGs out of the 17 possible by the United Nations. Thanks to the sanitation, food security process as developed by Kasanga, the actor motivated by the opportunity to practice agriculture with minimal operating costs for maximum yield. And given the guarantee of success of the process, until today, 100% of success obtained in more than 100 villages, he can have access to credits, which allow him to develop viable economic activities. Credit that he reimburses very quickly, in four years on average. By limiting its operation costs, it very quickly generates a profit margin, which only grows over time since its land is rehabilitated. Agricultural yields therefore also increase over time and costs are always very low. We have created and are in the presence of a model of agricultural agriculture and virtuous economic action. The motivated actor no longer waits for the grant, he becomes a master of his own destiny. He decides to come out of his condition on his own if a funder is ready to follow him. It is, to our knowledge, the only economy in the world that has allowed a poor population to achieve such strong growth so fast. The Belfort communities and members of the Kasanga Association, accompanied by actors of change in the Burkina Faso, will now represent some of our processes in more detail, this approach and its results.